Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our Canada Day craft. Today we are going to have a workshop on collage. It's all about found objects. Let me just take my mask off and then you'll hear me better. So, I have been out in the park looking for things and, well, you must remember you don't pick things. You find them if they're on the ground and they look safe to pick up, then that's, that's okay. Otherwise, you've got to have permission. You don't just pick things. So, I found some leaves, some feathers, and pine cones, shells, and they were all so interesting to me, and I knew I could do a good art project with them. Uh, let me see. I've got a supply list here, and I'll just read it out to you. We're, uh, we're going to need to have a piece of heavyweight paper. I put mine on a board and I taped it all around because I'm going to do a lot of different things with it. Uh, my piece is about 12 by 12, but you can do any size you like. So we're going to have a couple of extra pieces of drawing paper because some of our pieces, we're going to look at them and sketch them and take some inspiration from them. So scrap paper, scissors and glue, all the found objects and any supplies that you have that you like to use, like pencil crayons and paints and maybe uh, pastels or something. Um, I've got acrylic paint, markers and oil pastels. Now, let's see, I could do some examples for you. I'll show you some of the things that I worked on. Here's one that I did with feathers, and I, I drew the feathers, and then I played around with where I should put them to make it interesting, and then I put layer upon layer of paint and a little bit of wax and a little bit of ink. Turned out pretty interesting. Here's another one that I did with leaves. And you see how I overlap them and introduce different colors to the composition. Another way to approach this is to use different colors of paper and layer them on top of each other. Here's my, my tulip example. And here's one that I did, I really like this, so I decide to put it in a frame. That worked out well, it's all different seashells. So I'll put my examples away and we'll get busy. Roll up our sleeves. And you know me, I like to wear an apron. There we go. Now, let me see. Here we go. So I've already looked at a few ideas how to approach things with leaves. And well, Canada Day, of course, we want to use maple leaves in our, our arrangement, our collage. Here's a couple of ideas. This, I actually took the leaf, put it on the page, and then painted all the way around. Made a very nice effect. And then I tried painting the leaf and pressing it onto the paper. Okay. Well. I'm just going to do a few cutouts very quickly here and we'll see how they, they go together. a little bit of acrylic paint here in a fine count of the day color. And I do like to keep some water handy in a little spray. It gives me just the right amount. I think I'll play around with another red. There. This is a 
a very uh, shiny ruby red ink. Now, before we do anything, we're going to have a little think about how things might be placed on our paper. What do we think about this feather? Should we have a feather in here as well as our leaves? I kind of like that feather. I think we will. Okay. okay. Now that I'm looking at our composition, I'm going to put a little wash of color as a background on my page. This paper, it's got a, um, a bit of a weight to it, so it'll be a, a nice paper to receive paint. It's not a special paper, it's not watercolor, it's just a, a good, good one all round paper. Oh yes, I like the way that bleeds into the, the wetness there. Very nice. That's going to work out well. A little bit of water down here. And I have a lovely warm red here. It's like a fire engine red. And the other one's a little cooler colored red, like more like crimson. Let's see how that's going to work. Oh yes, that's fun. That's sort of giving us a little framework around our collage. I think I'm ready to stick a few things down. I've made some uh, kind of a, a Mod Podge glue and what I've done is just taken our regular white glue and some water and mixed it up and it's a nice consistency so it should work really well for, for doing this application. Just go right over that. That's quite fun. You can see that we're just going to have lots of layers and it's going to look very interesting. So this is my original leaf print. I took a print of a leaf, just like we did with, with the one that had all the veins. And afterwards, I went over and drew on top of the print with a Sharpie pen. Oh. This leaf, I think I'll trace around this leaf. It doesn't really have very much veining in it, but it's an interesting leaf, isn't it? Here we go. There's a good angle for it. You notice I'm not really using the proper leaf colors. I'm just having fun and using the colors that I like. We can tell their leaves. Mm. 
Now, do you want to make a pattern? Maybe we will. Now we could be inspired by the pattern on the leaf or we could make up our own pattern. And I think I'll make up my own pattern. One side lines, one side polka dots. Imagination and fun. Hmm, let's have a look. What else should we do? I think we need another little leaf. I like the way this one worked out. I might cut this one out and add it right here. Oh, these are going to look gorgeous. And when I see what you've done, I hope you send me a photograph. It'd be wonderful to see them all together. All right, I think I'll put that one about there. I like to overlap things. Now, don't worry if some of the, the corners lift up. You can always go back in again with a little bit of glue, tuck it right underneath, and then when it's all dry, a lovely thing to do is to paint right over the whole thing with a little bit of glue, and this glue and water solution will, will make a, a really nice finish to it. It'll seal everything. Well, it's time to have a little look, see what we think of our composition. I like the shape. I, I'm glad that I kept the stem on and it gives a direction and I like the way that leads off. Yeah, it's coming together. And look at these wonderful leaves that I found. Now these I found when I was looking through my art supplies. They're colored skeleton leaves. Oh, aren't they wonderful? Oh, that would be fun to use. There we go. And I think we're ready for a little contrasting color. See how I'm just tearing this. We could cut it, but I think it looks a little more organic when we, we just tear a little piece and 
and use it that way. It's got a nice, nice edge to it. I think I need a little bit of that color over here. This side's looking a little bit plain. Oh yeah, the wrinkles look good in it, don't they? Yes. Hmm. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Very interesting. I think we're almost there. I'm going to try just one more little thing. I found this and it'll make a fun effect. Let's see. Put it right here. Interesting. A little bit. Hmm. I like the contrast of the green with the red. They complement each other. Voila! I think I'm going to say we're done. Yes. That was fun, wasn't it? Just from finding things on our walk and celebrating Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, thank you.